Yo, what up guys, this is your Bo Legendary here. Today we're going to be doing another deck profile. We're going to be doing another Jaden deck profile. It's going to be Jaden Season 4 deck. I think one or two of my subscribers have asked for a Season 4 deck. To be honest, I wasn't really sure if I should even make it because I was like, I feel like I kind of have done that already. And in a way, I kind of have. Uh, the very first deck profile I ever made on this channel, the basic Jaden Yugi deck profile, is more or less kind of Jaden Yugi Season 4 deck. So I was like, I didn't really see a purpose in making a Season 4 deck because I felt like that deck was pretty close to a Season 4 deck anyway. But, uh, and I also did the Jaden Yugi uh, Turbo deck, which was also a Season 4 deck, but like re really updated with new support and stuff. But, uh, it's fine. I figured why not? Let's do it. Let's do a Season 4 deck. It's a little bit different, so I guess, uh... It is what it is, but this is only using the, the anime cards or the cards that were used in Season 4 only. Keep in mind, Jaden used so many cards, so many cards in Season 4, uh, old cards and new cards. So, obviously, I won't be able to fit everything in here. I will put on the screen right now a picture of Jaden Yugi's Season 4 cards, all the cards that he used in that season. Uh, it's on Yu-Gi-Oh! Wiki. I'll put the link in the description as well for you guys, so you guys could... Go there in case if you guys don't know where to look up Jay and Yugi's deck and how to know what cards he does and doesn't have in there, how many copies and all that. It's all there on that website, Yugi Wikia has everything, all the information is accurate. Like I know it's Wikia, but trust me, it's actually all accurate. I've been using Yugi Wikia for years to build my deck. So go there to check it out and build uh, whatever character that you want. Search up whatever character you want. It has all the cards that, that, that were used there. Make sure to look very carefully at the notes to see if there are any errors or anything like that. But anyway, yeah, so this is going to be his season four deck. Keep in mind, this is going to be a 40 card deck like usual. That's how I like to build it, you know, nice and consistent. And that's how it is in the anime. It's been proven many times that characters usually run 40 cards in there, whether you believe it or not. So it's going to be 40 cards. And uh, and yeah, so let's just hop right into it. All right, so first up, we have uh, the elemental heroes. We got the four classic heroes, Avion, Burstinatrix, Clayman, and Sparkman. Man, I really need to get a hollow uh, Clayman and Avion because I want to complete the set. But yeah, so... Uh, the original four normal elemental hero monsters right there. Then we also have Bubble Man, uh, Wild Heart, and Prisma. Prisma was used in season three at the end of season three, but I added it in here because even though he didn't use it in season four, I felt like it's Prisma. You kind of have to add it. But if you want to just to be season four only, just take that one card out. Everything else is literally season four um, except for that one card. So you can take it out if you want, it's perfectly fine. Uh, I wouldn't take it out because it's Prisma and you need Prisma to kind of make the deck work faster. So yeah, Prisma's there. Uh, we also have Necro Shade and Blade Edge, just the final two uh, regular Elemental Heroes. Alright, next up we got Elemental Hero Neos. To start off with the Neos uh, cards and Neospatian cards. And then we have the obvious six Neospatians. The uh, Glow Moss, Dark Panther, Grand Mole, Flare Scarab, Air Hummingbird, and Aqua Dolphin. All hollowed out and gorgeous. Very good. And we got that Neos with the alternate art. Looks very gorgeous. I love it a lot. But yeah, so that's uh, Neos and the Neospatians right there. Uh, then for the non-Neos and Elemental Hero cards, we have Dandelion, obviously. And we have Spell Striker, we have Necro Gardener, and we have Ubel in there. I would probably take Ubel out, but if you want to tech it in, because he did have it in his deck in Season 4, even though he never really technically used it in the duel. Um, Darkness took it out of his deck, so it wasn't the deck, but he never used it for whatever reason. I don't know why, but it was in his deck, so it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so there it is. Uh, that's his main deck right there, simple. That's 20 monsters. You could change the ratios however you like. If you want to add other, other stuff, we'll get into the side deck afterwards, and then I'll tell you guys what's going to be in the side deck that you guys could tech in and out. All right, for the spell cards, we got two polymerizations. We have Super Polymerization. I would probably also take this card out just because I feel like this card is usually only really good when you're trying to steal something from your opponent, but since there's nothing you can really steal from your opponent early on, uh, he doesn't have Neos Knight yet, he doesn't have Brave Neos or any of that other future support that we got for Jaden, so Super Poly isn't as useful in my opinion. Obviously you could use it just to fuse your own monsters and use it like an instant fusion, but at that point you could just use instant fusion, or flash fusion is the actual TCG name now. Uh, but yeah, so you could probably replace this for flash fusion if you want. Uh, or just keep this in and use it because it's super poly and it's season 4 build so it'll still come in handy here and there I just feel like it's probably better to add a different card that's 
more useful um, because I don't know super poly is just a card that you want to steal something from your opponent and use it as material that's kind of the whole point behind super poly if you're not doing that it just feels like well why am I wasting a discard just to fuse with my own monsters I mean I don't know but that's up to you to decide I know it's still useful I just uh, it's just my personal gripe I guess uh, then we got miracle fusion and then uh, we have the Neos related cards, we have Miracle Contact, we have Convert Contact, and we have Neo Space Wave, uh, the anime card. This card basically allows you to special summon Neo Space monsters from your deck. This card basically is activate only when a number of Neo Space monsters in your deck is greater than the number of monsters you control. Send all your monsters to the graveyard, then special summon Neo Space monsters from your deck with attack equal equal to half the attack of the monster sent to the graveyard by this effect so yeah you just gotta it just helps you swarm the field with neospatians there uh so i just decided to add that to help maybe you know get your material your neospatians out to the field faster so that you can go for contact fusion and stuff like that or or whatnot but yeah so neospace wave is there it was very difficult to build this deck because there are so many cards that he used in season four and i was i, I didn't know what to add what to take in so you know, I wanted to add certain other cards like Space Gift and stuff like that, but it just wasn't, it was so tight, so tight. And I also wanted to use some new cards from Season 4 in here, so that's why I kind of sacrificed a little bit of consistency just to use some new cards. But this is a fun deck, it's a Season 4, uh, it's still strong, it's still a strong deck, but it, you know, just don't expect anything crazy. But if you really know how to use this deck, it will be good. And then, so yeah, that's the polys and then the... The Neos cards, we got Neo Space, we got Skyscraper, the two field spells. Then we got Emergency Call and Oversoul. I didn't add the H and the R because I didn't have enough room for, in the deck. So if you want to ha have all four of them in the deck, then you're going to have to find room somewhere. But uh, yeah, so there's the E and the O. And you guys are going to find that out real soon is that it becomes very difficult. You want to use all these, all these cards and all these combos and strategies, but you can't because you just don't have enough room obviously if you want to run a 60 card deck you can if you want um but that that's a whole nother issue in the future i think i'm gonna do a deck profile where i do a 60 card deck and kind of try it out because i've never tried out a 60 card deck because i like to run it 40 because that's how they do it in the anime but one day i'll try it out just for fun just to see what i can do with it to see if i could find a way to maybe find a good deck list for a 60 card deck because i'm curious if i could actually challenge myself to make a 60 card deck for Jaden work because i know that it can be tricky 60 cards means it's harder to get the cards you need but We'll see. I'm gonna try it one day. Anyway, that's a that's a sidetrack. I'm, I'm getting sidetracked. We got Fifth Hope. Uh, we got two anime cards. Effect Shut. This negates a monster effect and destroys it. Take over five. This most the top five cards of your deck. And then uh, also you could draw a card during your next standby phase or something. And then Subspace Battle. Uh, this makes it so both you and your opponent choose three monsters from your deck, and they kind of quote unquote battle simultaneously. Um, you reveal those cards simultaneously, and then. Depending on which monsters have higher attack points, those get sent to the hand. The monsters that have lower attack points go to the graveyard, and then the ones that go to the graveyard, you take 500 for each. Um, your, you or your opponent takes 500 for each. So, you know, it's a really great burn card, and it helps you set up your graveyard for Miracle Contact and Miracle Fusion, and sets, you know, Necro Gardener and stuff like that, Dandelion. So Jaden's deck works very well by just dumping everything into the graveyard. So these two cards are great because they help you dump stuff to the graveyard fast. This has a heavy burn cost, so be very careful with it. But, uh, you know, so just be wary of your life points and see if you could take that burn. But uh, usually it's worth the burn if... Uh, if you can set up your graveyard with Jaden's deck. So yeah, that's uh, all the spell cards right there. All right, now for the trap cards, we got five trap cards. We got Hero Signal, obvious classic. We got Hero Guard, the trap card. Uh, this activates only when opponent's monster takes an attack. One face of hero monster you control cannot be destroyed by that attack. Also, you can banish a hero monster from your graveyard to half the battle damage you take from that battle and draw one card. So pretty cool card, pretty cool. Definitely try that out. Uh, all the anime cards that you see in this build will be in the link in the description every single anime card that Jaden owns I've already made all of them and made it available for you guys so 
in the link in the description, it's going to say download Judah Yugi's or Jaden Yugi's anime cards below. It's going to have a link to the Google Drive. You do that, you print out, they're all PDFs, they're all set up. All you have to do is open the files and print them out. And you'll have all the anime cards. If you want to build it this way, if you want to take those out and only use the real cards, that's fine. Uh, just do what, just do whatever, <laughs> whatever you want. Uh, but yeah, so all of them are available for you guys and it's all for free, so don't worry about it. I'm not charging nobody, it's all free stuff. So yeah, and then we got Hero Shield, another kind of defensive hero card. You target a face of hero monster you control, equipped it with this card. If the monster would be destroyed by battle, you could send this card to the graveyard instead, so it protects it. Uh, and then, during damage calculation, if the equipped monster battles an opponent's monster, you can draw one card for each multiple of a thousand damage you took. So it protects the monster by sending this card to the graveyard, and then if you, for every thousand points of damage you took from that battle, you will get to draw an extra card. So that's pretty cool. Then uh, we got Limit Reverse and Negate Attack, and that's pretty much it. Just five trap cards. Uh, usually Jaden just runs a heavy load of spell cards. If you want to add more traps to defend yourself or, you know, whatnot, you know, you can do as you please. All right, so for the fusion deck, I'm gonna run through it. Uh, Flame Wingman, Shining Flare Wingman, Thunder Giant, uh, Rampart Blaster, Steam Healer, Mud Bow Man, <laughs> Elemental Hero Mariner, Necro Dark Man, Necroid Shaman, Wild Wingman, Wild Edge, Plasma Vice, Tempest, and Electrum, and then <laughs> those are all the Elemental Hero fusions. We got Aqua Neals for the Neal stuff, Air Neals, Grand Neals, Flare Neals, Dark Neals, Glow Neals, Storm Neals, Magma Neals, Chaos Neals, Neals Wiseman, and God Neals. I didn't add Rainbow Neals in here because he did use it in Season 4 as well, but once again he doesn't have Rainbow Dragon in his deck, so you can't really summon it anyway. But obviously he did use it in Season 4, so if you want to add Rainbow Neals, go ahead, add Rainbow Neals and add Rainbow Dragon all on you uh, but yeah so that's the extra deck you guys already know with me I don't really like to cut the extra deck because in the anime there is no limitation to the extra deck it's never been said you could just use whatever you want um, so yeah it's full there if you want it to be 15 this is probably what I would do I would take out Aqua Neos because he's not great Air Neos, you can leave Flare Neos, you can leave Dark Neos. Glow Neos, I would take out too. Um, you could decide if you want to leave it in or out, but I think uh, he's one of the weaker ones. Uh, the Triple Chaos Monsters, I'd leave. I would use the anime effect of Chaos Neos. Um, Neos Wiseman, you can leave. For the Elemental Heroes, there's so many to choose from. It really depends on what your favorites are and what you think would be stronger. So I, I would always leave those two in there. So leave... Flame Wingman, Shining Flare Wingman, I would keep, uh, I would take out Rampart Blaster uh, and Steam Healer because these never, you, I never summon them because they're just not good. They're not good. Uh, Mudball Man is optional. I'll put him on the side for now. Uh, Mariner, you probably won't need to use. Yeah, he could attack directly, but eh, it's just whatever. Um, Dark Bright definitely is a must-have because you need a, a, to fuse with Necro Shade, set up your graveyard so that way you can normal summon a Neos or a Blade Edge. Uh, Necro Shaman is good because he instantly pops something on the field, which is great. Wild Wingman I'd take out too because discarding one card just to pop a back row is kind of iffy and he only has 1900 attack and unless you have Skyscraper on the field that ain't gonna do anything. Uh, Wild, Wild Edge I could leave because he attacks um, all monsters and he could wipe out a board real quick. Uh, Plasma Vice, absolutely yes. Tempest is optional. I, it's so hard. I never summon this card. And it's a pretty okay card. Uh, but you could, um, hmm, I think it's already past 15 actually. Let me see. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got six elemental heroes. Uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, I only have room for one more. So out of these, um, so yeah. I would main deck Thunder Giant. You could use the anime effect of Thunder Giant. Uh, and these these three, I'll side deck these, and these cards you can just take out. Actually, no, I'll side deck that. Uh, these cards you can take out. Oh, I forgot about God Neos. Uh, yeah, add God Neos in there, never mind. And, hmm, see what I mean? It's so difficult. It's like, who do you take out? Who's not important enough? Um, let's do a count. Neos Wiseman, Air Neos. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, exactly. So I'd side deck these fusions, I'd leave these cards out, because they're not that great. And yeah, these would be your 15 fusions for season 4 if you want to cut it down to 15. I hope this is 15. Oh no, this is 16, so you still have to take one more card out. 
man, I don't even know. You take out, I don't know. Take out whichever one you want. You can take out Dark Neos, maybe put that in the side as well. Your fusion side deck, so to speak. But yeah, right there. That's the extra deck right there. Like I said, just add everything. But if you wanted to cut it to 15, these are the 15 right there. Yep, those are it. We're going to go to the side deck real quick, but I'm not going to read any of the anime cards because once again, you guys could just download it in the description below. I don't need to waste time talking about all the cards because it's, it's too many cards. Uh, we got Wind Karibo. We got Wind Karibo level 10. Oh, I forgot to add Transcended Wings into the side deck. But yeah, add Transcended Wings too, obviously, if you're going to go into these. I didn't add these in the main deck because the deck is already so tight as it is. And pulling this combo off is very difficult and requires a lot. It requires a lot just to pull this off because you got to have Transcended Wings. you got to have Wind Karibo. And you got to, like also have two cards in your hand to discard for transcendent wings you got to have them both on the field at the same time it's it gets really hard it's worth it once you do it but it's very difficult to pull off so that's why i didn't main deck it we got car trooper and we got cross porter uh, and honest is technically not his card it's not his card at all it's actually fujiwara's card but it wasn't his deck if you want to add it uh you can but this is not his card he gave this card back it's not his he just used it temporarily but it's up to you because it's season four. He used it in season four. So if you want to add it, add it. We got Double Fusion. We got Contact Soul. We got Elemental Storm. We got Righteous Justice. We got Space Gift. We got Contact Out. Transcended Wings, obviously. Uh, Hero Blast. Unity with Soul Soul Union. Heroes Backup. And Death and Rebirth. Sorry I didn't read all those cards. It's, it's a lot of cards. But these are the cards I decided to side deck. Like I said, he used way too many cards in Season 4. So you could argue that there are other cards that could have been better to side deck. And there probably were. Like I said, there were just way too many cards. So just keep that in mind when you're uh, oh, writing down in the comments section. Oh, you forgot this or you should have added that. It's like, keep in mind there's way too many cards. I can't add everything. But yeah. I'm going to put on the screen again for you guys all of Jaden's Season 4 cards in the link in the description. Once again, download all of his anime cards and in the link in the description there will also be a link to Jaden Yugi's deck on Yu-Gi-Oh! Wikia. So you could look at every card that he's ever played in order in different seasons. It's all separated. It's all there. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the deck profile for you guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's his season four deck. So it's a really fun deck. It's actually very strong. Um, it's just really a matter of knowing which cards to add, which cards not to. The deck is, it's Jaden's deck. It's about setting up the graveyard. Believe it or not, people don't think that, but his deck is always about setting up the graveyard. Dump everything to the graveyard because then you get a Miracle Fusion, Contact Fusion, you know, set up for different combos. I usually like to go for setting up the graveyard for Storm Meals to pop the back row and then Miracle Fusion to uh, summon one of one of the elemental hero fusions that's big and then just kind of go for an OTK right there. That's usually what I try to go for sometimes, but that changes depending on who you're dueling and what's, you know, you gotta adapt to the situation. But really, Jaden's deck is all about setting up the graveyard uh, to go for your final big play to possibly OTK. That's really what Jaden's deck is about. It is an OTK deck. And there is a lot of strategy involved in Jaden's deck. Believe it or not, there really is. And it took me years to learn how to do, how to duel with this deck, how to learn how to use this deck and master it. Um, and you know, I, I feel like I pretty much have. Um, I've learned everything about this deck. Obviously, I'm not perfect. You know, I still make flaws here and there, but it is what it is. This is Jaden's deck, and I love this deck the most. It's, it's my favorite deck of all time, and it always will be. I, I just can't help it. Jaden's deck is. It's uh, real special to me, and it's it's just a fun deck. Heroes will always be my favorite archetype. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, that's my little tangent right there, uh, me expressing my feelings. But yeah, this is Jaden's deck. I love it. I always have. I hope you guys love it too. Yeah, see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, guys, God bless you guys. See you guys next time.